I loved playing Keely. She was one of the characters I've, I've had in my life that could play some dark, some dark girls, some girls going through some complicated, dark things. Um, and I'm not a method actress. So like it's, it's not that I'm in character all the time, but I, I definitely am a little bit method. <laughs> so, so, so without meaning to be, it's not like a thought out thing. It's just you can't help but let, seeps in person, yeah. yeah under your skin yeah. you know um and so keely coming into my universe which i would never have thought was going to be a thing ever um and then to have her be who i was living with whilst we were going through these crazy years in the world of a pandemic which is something i don't think anyone in their lifetime thought we would be going through and how many people kind of realize that they have you know, maybe they do battle with things that are alien words to them, like anxiety or just mental health in general, which I grew up talking very openly about. So, um, but it doesn't mean I, I I wasn't affected by it. I was deeply and I can go really dark. And Keely was such a light and she was yeah. such a light that just kept kind of reminding you to be kind to yourself. And that was something that I will forever be eternally grateful for because this star sort of aligned in a way that felt, pretty um pretty important actually yeah and 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 that was just my personal relationship with my character let alone the cast that I got to go and work with every day and the stories that we were telling and how it danced this line of I mean proper comedy which was terrifying for me but then also real human shit and I think it really did that extraordinarily well and and it was I think that's also what surprised people, right? I think it was something that just as it was about to become like real slapstick comedy and just continue on that journey, it would take this crazy turn. And then suddenly you'd be dealing with really important human thoughts and feelings and pains and, and yeah. And then it would turn that corner again when it was about to get real serious. Right. And I think that that was something that, um, people connected with because we all kind of do that we have to laugh through the things that are really difficult otherwise they'll break us right and um but if we don't actually realize them and laugh about them then they'll break us too so it's kind of the important line to dance and um and hannah waddingham yeah she has like that's what i was gonna say so changed my life i love her so much it does feel like it reminds me of like the scene in like Step Brothers when the two characters see each other, each other and say, "Can we be? We're, can we be best friends?" Like it feels like you have a friend for life. There's a soulmate. And, yeah, for real. And I'm curious, like, like in terms of from a character perspective, did that relationship, did the relationship off screen influence that relationship on screen? Did the writers write to that personal relationship as well? You think? Uh, yeah, I've been told that that was the case. I've, you know, I think there were storylines that they wanted to have, but then when you see people's chemistry and you see how that goes, you then kind of bleed that into the storyline. And, you know, me and Hannah, I remember landing in London and then I had to go straight from Heathrow to the studios that we were at to do a read through, which was one of those, it was, you know, pandemic stuff. So it was all around this table with big computer screens zooming with like the whole Apple film TV team. <laughs> and so it was intimidating. And um I was jet lagged and like, oh my God. And coming in to read a comedy show, I was like, this is a disaster. <laughs> and then I went, I went to the bathroom and that's where I met Hannah. And before we sat down to do the read through, and it was this moment where we were both it's like by you know by the little vanity mirrors and some kind of some bad fluorescent lighting or whatever and we both a bit like Whoo, and then turned and just went hi and it was and that was the beginning of it all to be honest with you because it was just that connection immediately before going in and putting on your like big girl face like this is an intimidation we're gonna nail it and then you already have a buddy you have a you have a yeah. kind of sisterhood immediately and it's one that just grew and grew and one that i don't think i could live without now I mean, talking about, I don't, I don't want to live without it. (laughs) (laughs) Not an option at this point. I mean, it it does feel like speaking of sisterhood, I mean, like, you know, the profound 
um, effect this has had, especially uh, on a lot of young women. I have two yeah. nieces that I'm earning a lot of street cred with today by talking to Keely. Gemma and Mika are your biggest fans. Um, Gemma and Mika, thank you. <laughs> that, they will die for that. Um, I'm getting cool uncle cr uh, credit today. Thank you. Um, they, of course, want to know, this is not on me, so don't blame me mm -hmm. for the question. What's up with the spinoff? They want the women's mm -hmm. soccer spinoff. It feels like it's it's destined to happen, but it sounds like this is not like a, re like, it's not a real thing, at least not yet. This is just something that who knows. This is something that I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat as everybody else, to be honest with you, in the sense that we, we haven't been told anything, but also nobody said no about anything. So it's kind of like, maybe it would happen, but if it doesn't, it's a really nice thought. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it feels like, you know, I, I think, that that relationship on camera between Keely and, and Rebecca was something that after the first season came out and people started watching and it kind of became a, a, a show that people were talking about. And then you would have women talk to you about how much it meant to see two women not be up against each other not be kind of behind each other's backs or not being kind of put down. All, all of the things that we see often in, in film and TV and it's like, it does get boring because you know yeah. what? You also have your girlfriends in your life that for me, my world wouldn't rotate the same way if I didn't have them. They are so important. And and that is something that I think as, as you know, as we put things out into the world, I think it's important to show the positive as much as the negative. 